Hi, I'm Adam Cahill, the co-media director here at Hill Holiday. It is day three of Future M. I'm sitting here chatting with Bruce Journey, who is the co-founder and chief revenue officer at DataZoo. Bruce, welcome. Hi, Adam. I wonder if you could just quickly uh, tell folks what, what DataZoo does mm -hmm. and then get into a little bit of the market dynamics around you. How big is the space you're in mm -hmm. uh, and, and what are your, your your growth projections for the space. Well, we're, uh, you know, a demand side platform essentially is, um, you know, when we created DataZoo, we realized that most advertising for the past 50 years, the value of the advertising equation has been set by the seller, be it a, a television network or a radio station or a print ad or an online publisher or search. And what we realized with the capability of the technologies that we had, which we took out of MIT, from the aerospace program actually to apply to online digital advertising is that if we could for the first time enable you as a buyer and your clients at Hill Holiday as a buyer to really value what every possible advertising opportunity in both display, mobile, and video, all digitally created, if you could value that and bid on it in real time, mm -hmm. only one ad at a time, one impression at a time, we thought that would be a disruptive capability. And uh, so in terms of the size of the market, I think the ad marketplace is probably 600 billion. It's very big. The digital display space is probably north of 20 billion this year. Um, search is much bigger. Google, as you know, has $168 billion market cap. And um, there's enormous opportunity for a company that's a purely technology-based company like ours to enable you as a buyer to really get the best value return on investment you can for your clients marketing dollars. Mm -hmm. If you uh, had to speculate say let's say three years out, um, what percentage of, of what's now display, online display media, do you, do you think will be flowing through platforms like DataZoo? It's very hard to say because it's so new, but I think the reality is is that you have um, so many intermediaries in the marketplace right now that have been established over time from um, you know from the dollars spent by an advertiser to what the publisher meaning the website receives in display or the you know the the the, uh, the mobile company or the video company mostly all talking about the websites as the end beneficiary mm -hmm. of the advertiser dollar there's been an awful lot of money taken out of the middle Mm -hmm. And that's taken out by ad servers, by now third-party data companies, by networks who aggregate a group of sites together. And that number that's been taken out can be between 40 and 60%. Mm -hmm. So one of your advertisers, of which you have many wonderful, th the dollar that they pay versus what the publisher gets, the publisher might get 30 cents of the dollar that you pay. Mm -hmm. And so it comes down to the value. With technologies like we've seen in every other aspect of our society, new technology generally brings value, reduces cost, and improves performance. Mm -hmm. And that's what um, that's what we purport to do. So, and we've we've proven that to great success. So I think that you will see a massive shift, almost a disruptive shift, of money moving into a digital auction environment where your buyers are able to bid through our technology only on the impressions they want to buy at the time they want to buy them and not buy anything else. And that's that's new and that's very mm -hmm. revolutionary. You mentioned um, third-party data providers. Yes. Um, so, so a lot of the companies in your space um, make a big deal out of their access to third-party data and using that to make essentially remnant inventory have value. Sure. Um, but I'd love to know your perspective on how important third-party data is versus other ways uh, to make decisions about valuing a piece of media. I think for certain companies, creating, creating a bidder in an auction environment, just a bid, isn't technologically that hard. I think um, it remains to be seen where the real value of third-party data will go. Uh, most of the players out there are basically reselling cookies to other people. Mm -hmm. um, and if, if they'll identify a cookie, which is a particular type of user that might be in an auto intender category, saying likely to buy a car, and that same person is a high net worth individual, what will occur and what is happening now is that you have a company like Fidelity who wants the high net worth individual and Ford Motor Company 
who want the auto and tender both bidding on that same cookie. Mm -hmm. What we do, is that's valuable, but right now the price of that data is high mm -hmm. and the bidding is driving the price up. Mm -hmm. So you have price inflection the wrong way. What we do is we look at the vast unknown in the web and we de develop probabilistic tendencies of what works and what doesn't work and we're able to buy those types of impressions that perform well at a much, much lower price. So I think the, the, the short answer is it's very early days on third-party data. Most of the players out there didn't even exist two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I think next year, I kind of call it the year of data, 2011, mm -hmm. where you'll see a shakeout. Some will probably go away, yep. some will consolidate. And um, I think prices that of, of, of various types of data may actually come down particularly the stuff that doesn't work very well. Bruce, thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate your participation in today's panel and taking the time to sit with me uh, here as well. And thank you very much for joining us as well. Mm -hmm.